So the fast arms, why did we develop these? So we've had the V2 arms already. We've also sold the Titan QR steering racks, which both in combination deliver what these arms actually can do as well. What we realize is there may be an opportunity then for us to create one product that does the work of two different products. We really wanted to create something that was going to give customers options. And that is have a steering ratio that is going to be like stock and the one that's significantly faster. The other advantage that we could come up with is getting additional negative camber over stock as well as over the V2 arms that we have had. We found after scanning and doing all of the 3D geometry on the suspension on the Lotuses, we discovered there's an opportunity here to go and gain additional camber. Bump steer as well. The stock steering arms have a lot of bump steer. When the car is in full jounce or fully compressed, you'll see a lot of toe out that takes place with a stock steering arm. We corrected a good chunk of that with the V2 arms. What we found is with the design on the fast arms, we could get even more bump steer correction. So we thought, hey, let's give this a shot. So we went ahead, we had it manufactured out of stainless steel. Why did we do that? Well, a couple reasons. One, it's certainly a stiffer and stronger material, but also one of the things that we are finding with the aluminum steering arms is that in some cases, people are over torquing the track ends, causing the holes to actually mushroom and open up a little further. So anyways, we thought with steel, it's going to be much stronger material and be more resistant to that potential issue. So what were the results? I took the car out. I drove on one of my favorite roads here in Temecula, Deleuze Road, and actually discovered a couple of roads that I had actually never been on, got lost a little bit actually, but had a lot of fun, pushed the car pretty hard. We installed these V2 arms in the shop using our alignment rack, the Hunter, and we discovered straight away we could get negative three degrees of camber at the front of the car, which is something we've never been able to achieve without machining the uprights as well as using V2 arms and have a lower ride height. Well, this car is actually running a street ride height, about 130 to 132 millimeter ride height at the front. So at a very, very conservative ride height, we could achieve negative three degrees of camber, which of course with our compounds is too much, but if you're running slicks like Hoosiers or Yokohamas, it's exactly what you want. So that was a great thing that we were able to discover in the shop itself. So what we did is we set the camber so that it was the equivalent to what I had previously, and then I went out and tested. So what were the basic results? Absolutely, the steering response is significantly quicker. It's not quite as fast as an aerial atom, but it is absolutely faster than stock. No question about it. You need to be paying attention, particularly in the high speeds, because every little input, the car is going to actually react. It's wonderful. It feels great. I love it. I was concerned about low speed issues, like in the parking lot. Steering effort didn't ramp up considerably, so that was good. You can see in the video, I'm pushing the car pretty hard, and it was not feeling nervous at all through the tight sequences. The car felt fantastic. I think those of you who are into autocross, you'll love how quick the responses as well. So this car had a stock adjustable front sway bar. It does not have the rear sway bar on it yet. That's actually going to be the next thing that we're going to do. We'll put, we'll put the DNA front and rear sway bars on it. So it's going to be even more responsive. So I'm really, really excited about testing that out. So overall, very happy with the results. We got a little more testing to do with it as well. But I would frankly anticipate having this into production later this fall for availability, maybe right around Christmas. But I think that it seems to be a really, really good product. For those of you who are looking for improved bump steer, added camber, as well as faster steering response. Or for those of you who just want stock steering response, but you want more camber and bump steer correction, this will be a really good solution for you guys. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.